All right, everyone, calculate the number of C, H, and O atoms in 1.50 grams of glucose, which is C6H12O6. It's a common sugar. So we're starting with 1.50 grams of glucose, and they want the number of atoms, individual atoms, where we have both carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, C, H, and O. So we're going to start with 1.50 grams, and that's of glucose, C6H12O6. And in the end, we want atoms, okay, total number of atoms. So even though glucose is a molecule made up of many atoms bonded together, we just want individual atoms. So first step. We want to turn grams into moles. So when we want moles, that goes on top. We want to get rid of grams, that goes on bottom. We're normally going to talk about one mole. So we need to know the grams of one mole of glucose, C6H12O6. So we need to find the molar mass of that. So we need to calculate the molar mass of c 6 h 12 O six. Okay. So for carbon, for one mole of glucose, that would be six moles of carbon. And we're going to multiply that six by carbon's molar mass, which is 12.01. Multiplying six by 12.01, we get 70. 2.06 for hydrogen there are 12 moles for every one mole of glucose and looking at our periodic table hydrogen is about 1.01 grams per mole so we multiply those together to get 12.12 grams and then for oxygen 6 times periodic table 16.00 multiply those we get 96.00 grams and if we add all of these together we get a total of 180.18 so that's the molar mass of C6H12O6, glucose, that's how many grams is in one mole, 180.18. Okay, at this point, canceling out our, out our units, grams are going away, and we'd be left with moles. But we're not done yet. We want to get to molecules and then to individual atoms. So our next step would be turning those moles into molecules. Okay, or particles. For every one mole, it's always the same amount of anything. It's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So many things are in a mole. In this instance, we're talking about molecules. So canceling out our units at this point, moles would go away and we have molecules but we want individual atoms so we need one more conversion where molecules is on the bottom and atoms is on top so we need the relationship between atoms and molecules we're looking at C6H12O6 for every one glucose that's 6 carbons plus 12 hydrogens plus 6 oxygens. So for every one molecule, that's 24 atoms for one molecule. Okay, so one molecule goes on the bottom and 24 atoms goes on top. Canceling out our units, molecules goes away on top and bottom, and we're going to be left with total number of atoms. So let's 
do the math in our calculator. It's going to be 1.50 times the top here. doesn't change anything, so let's divide by the bottom. So divided by 180.18. Okay. Second conversion factor, we're going to multiply by Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then we could divide by 1, but that won't change anything. So we're going to go to the third conversion factor. Multiply by the top, which is 24. Again, the bottom's 1, so it's not going to change anything. So if we hit equals here, we should get, for our final answer, 1.20 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So how many total atoms are in 1.50 grams of glucose? That would be 1.20 times 10 to the 23rd individual atoms. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.